Min scratch race that we can see in the background, the riders just uh, rolling around the track. This is the women's scratch race final. Let's take a look then at the start list, led of course by the defending champion Kirsten Wield of the Netherlands. Notable other riders who are in the field, Shamila Mashakova, Kimberly Geisten here from the United States of America. Laura Trott of Great Britain, is she going to give this uh, British crowd something to scream about in this uh, arena this evening? Mire Oliveria also in here for Spain, the 39-year-old. Great competitor. She rides in Great Britain a lot, so she'll be very at home on this track. Uh, the rest of the riders, uh, let's pick out Jolene Dora of uh, Belgium. Jolene Dora, injured in Hong Kong, she... Uh, cracked some ribs there but she's now recovered Lydia Boylan of Ireland and Charlotte Becker of Germany is in the field too a little surprising the Australians don't have anyone in this scratch race tonight Kirsten Wheel there getting ready for racing there is uh, Alina Sierra this can be fast. Jamila Mashakova, the Polish rider Natalia Rutkowska. Behind her is uh, Tatiana Klimchenko. There's the American uh, Kimberly Geist. There's the camera. We're going to see some great shots in this scratch race, I think. Yoreli Salazar. There is Conor of Italy. Canadian Stephanie Roda and Evgenia Romanyoita of Russia. And working away from the back, we just uh, catch Pascal Juland. There is Lydia Boylan in front of her, Yolin Dora. In front of Yolin Dora, Wang Yu Yang. And we work our way through to Laura Trott at the front. So we're underway. 40 laps on the track. Remember, the rules are the first rider to cross the line is the winner, but if a rider laps the field, then they're, of course, one lap up. So we'll keep our eye on the action and uh, see what happens. Thanks very much to any of you who are going to tweet in this evening. At Amber Crossan is the uh, Twitter feed if you would like to uh, give me uh, any questions. On board now with uh, Kimberly Guys taking a look here at Virginie Queff, uh, the Australian rider. So, with great technology here in this arena, Virginie Queff, the uh, French rider. Sorry, Pascal Julian, the French rider. 28 years of age, the world champion of the scratch race in 2010. Kimberly Geist at the front, Pascal Juland uh, looking around to see uh, where the Italian rider is as Pascal Juland uh, goes to the top of the track. Juland was the world champion in 2010. Last night in the men's scratch race, we saw an awful lot of attacking. So we'll see whether we get the same. Surprisingly, Laura Trott uh, riding this. Uh, she's obviously chosen to get as much racing into her program as she can. The Olympic Omnium uh, champion from London 2012. Uh, the team pursuit were Olympic champion as well. Maybe this is a good race for her to ride. Great Britain have not had the best of days as far as team suiting is concerned. Uh, their team, a little bit of uh, misfortune in the qualification. Uh, their normal, very composed way of riding just shows human effort. One of the riders leaving a gap in the team and then uh, the race kind of fell apart for them. But they will race for the bronze medal. Just shows you the strength of them. Uh, they finished a 4.21 over the four kilometres, despite the last couple of laps being literally two riders and then the other two riders spread out all the way around the track. Such was the speed they were going at. Little attack at the front now. 
And we'll see whether we get any sort of uh, reaction. It's uh, Minami Iwano of Japan who goes on the attack here at the front of the race. Immediate, um, immediate reaction then by the Belarusian Marina Shmanyakova. Uh, behind her is uh, the Mexican rider in the green, Yareli Salazar. The Cuban rider also, and the Japanese rider just finding that tempo a little bit tough. This Belarusian rider is uh, very strong. Shmanyakova trying to chase things down. The rider from the Czech Republic is uh, Jamila Mashakova, the points race world champion in 2013, but it's the Cuban rider, Sierra, who has gone on the attack here with the other uh, group of riders. And it is uh, the Mexican rider, Salazar. Japanese rider manages to get into that string of riders. It's, uh, under a little bit of pressure, an unusual style. But they look pretty composed now. The chase is happening behind these riders. It's the Mexican rider, Alina Sierra. Is the Cuban in here. And Lira Oliveria goes through. Kirsten Wheel, the defending champion, Yoli Dora. And up towards the front as well. Do look like they're not going to let this quartet of riders go. Sitting near the front is the Canadian rider, Stephanie Roda, bronze medalist in the team pursuit in uh, the World Championships in 2015. She's been put into this uh, race. Uh, she's a member of that team pursuit squad. Uh, but they're making sure that uh, the other riders in that group, that squad, get the chance to race. On the front there, the Czech Republic rider swinging to the top of the track. Still up four riders away. It's the Cuban rider who uh, leads them through. That is Sierra in the red and blue colours. Uh, the Belarusian now goes to the front. That's uh, Shmyankova. It looks like they're not managing to grow their advantage. 25 laps of racing to go. You kind of get the sense that if this comes back, there will be a big attack from a couple of the favourites once everyone's kind of softened up the pace a little bit. The Cuban still on the front. Sierra concentrating hard. We've still got almost half a lap's lead as Laura Trot decides that she is going to try and do something about this and uh, also a little bit of a reaction now from Yoli Dora of Belgium. Yoli Dora, such a fantastic road rider. She won the Drenza World Cup this time of year, last year. So Yoli Dora goes for it. And this is the attack I thought might happen. And now Laura Trot goes on the attack. You can tell in the background she closes the gap and immediately goes to the front. Yoli Dora goes with her. Laura Trot looking around to see what sort of damage she's done. The answer is the Peloton's all coming back together. And Yoli Dora on the wheel of Laura Trot. Dora has put all her season on riding the Olympic Games. She'll only ride a few road events uh, this season. She rides, of course, for Wiggle High Five on the road, uh, the number one road team in women's cycling. And now Mashakova is the rider who goes to the front. She's the rider there in the blue, white and red from the Czech Republic. Points race world champion in 2013 in Minsk in Belarus. As Dora goes to the front. And now Laura Trot, followed by Kirsten Wield. Wield, one of the fastest sprinters in women's cycling. The defending champion riding for the Netherlands. The tempo goes out of this field now, and an immediate attack from the Canadian rider. Just a sign of softening up kind of attack. And the German rider, Charlotte Becker, goes to the front now. The time trial 
team time trial world champion in her career she's been a team pursuit silver medalist in the european championships as the american rider on the front and there's the view from the camera and looking straight here at the slovakian rider pavlin dover so we're on board here with kimberly geist the americans have had a fantastic day it's their coach Andy's birthday today, so he's very happy with the performance of their team pursuit squad as Lydia Boylan now makes an attack for Ireland. Talking to the Irish squad, they said they were going to mix things up a little bit, try and sneak a medal if they could. Lydia Boylan's been training in Mallorca all winter, putting in a massive training block. 28-year-old uh, Dubliner, believe it or not, she's got a master's degree in earthquake engineering. So she's uh, shaking things up a little bit this evening. One, one, one. The attack of Lydia Boylan, 15 laps to go. She's trying to encourage a little attack to uh, happen as Laura Trott goes to the front and the Italian rider goes with her. Italian, the world champion in the junior points race, rides for Ale Cipollini, 22 years of age. And Lydia Boylan is opening up an advantage. She's wondering whether anyone's going to come across to her. The Irish team almost uh, rode a national record in the team pursuit this afternoon. And Boylan now putting on the tempo. He's been in the gym a lot as well during the winter. 13 laps to go. The reaction comes from the former world champion of the points race, uh, Jamila Mashakova. Another reaction comes from Charlotte Becker. Lotte Becker used to ride for the Wiggle team, now rides for high tech. And she's closing in on Lydia Boylan. We're going to see four riders join up at the front of this uh, scratch race. Remember, the first rider to cross the line will be the winner as uh, Lottie Becker goes to the front. Mashakova goes through. The Cuban Sierra in the red and blue is immediately onto the win. And Lydia Boylan, after that attack, is just unable to shut the gap. Those legs are hurting. She's desperately hoping that she can just get in the sleep stream of the rest of the riders. Ten laps of racing to go. Lydia Boylan almost there. Nine laps to go. Reaction coming now, and it's coming from Hong Kong, China, with Quan Yu Yang. Uh, Boylan is almost on the wheel of that uh, trio in front of her. So hard on this track. They make it look so easy. The reaction now coming again from another little group of riders. What are the big names doing in here? Charlotte Becker is the biggest name in this front group. Uh, an immediate reaction from the uh, Russian rider, Evgenia Romanyoita. They don't want her to go across. And she is a very, very strong finisher. And now Laura Trott decides she's got to do something about it. As she said before, you have to be prepared to lose in order to win. And it's now Mashakova, followed immediately by the Russian rider on her wheel is Romanoita in that group. Laura Trott now is making a little bit of reaction. Is she going to run out of time? She will want this world title. Is she prepared to put it on the line to take this title now? Five laps of racing to go in the women's scratch race. The reaction is coming. And then Mashakova and the rest of the group. It is flat out in the peloton. Laura Trott followed immediately by Rutkowska of Poland. Onto the wheel goes Pascal Schuland. They are closing in very, very fast indeed on the front group. Who is going to take this one? Laura Trott's prepared to see whether someone else will shut the gap. The medals are in front of them. It is Pascal Schuland, the French rider, the 28-year-old. A former scratch race world champion. Does she want this more than anyone else in the field? 
Now it is on the front, an attack immediately from the Canadian rider. And it is Stephanie Rorga who's trying to come across. Three laps of racing to go. Still at the front, the race is still all together. And it is still that little group of riders who have a tiny advantage. Two laps of racing to go now as Laura Trott closes up with the... Uh, Canadian Stephanie Rorda, they're going round the outside, they're going to hit the bell with one lap of racing to go. What's going to happen here? One lap to go, it is Rorda and Trot, followed by Kirsten Wield and Yoli Dora. Who's going to take this title? It is Laura Trot, it goes round the outside, Stephanie Rorda's there, Kirsten Wield is trying to attack, Laura Trot's going for the world title, she's going to take it, Laura Trot takes it, Laura Trot is the world scratch race champion. What a win by Laura Trott. The crowd get on their feet. That's what the British fans indeed have been waiting for. But if you're a fan of cycling, you have to admire the way that Laura Trott rode there. Laura Trott, a fantastic performance by her. She is so cool on the track. She waited and waited and waited. And she wins a world title here in London, and this crowd are going absolutely nuts. It's a throwback to London 2012. What a race that was, 47.6 kilometres, it was a game of who was the rider who's prepared to let everyone else ride across the gap at the right time. She made the moves when she had to, it hasn't been a great day for the British show riders after their performance in the team pursuit, but the golden girl has done it again. All hugs in the crowd. What a win by Laura Trotz. And a family greeting her there. She will wear the uh, rainbow band as a world champion. That's why she rode it. Is the finish. What a ride by the Canadian rider. Rod, I think, took the bronze medal. Kirsten Wield, I think, will take the silver. Canada having a great championships. Trot just sneaking around the top here. Flat out sprint. Rorda with a fantastic performance. She was an animator of the race. Kirsten Wield, the defending champion, nearly got there. Laura Trot just holding off. Rorda will take the bronze medal. Laura Trott, Kirsten Wield, and Rorda of Canada. Laura Trott then, walking uh, through the crowd of uh, people in this track centre. It's very, very busy in this track centre. The result of the women's at scratch race. Laura Trott of Great Britain takes the world title. Kirsten Wield, the defending champion, takes the silver. And Canada's Stephanie Roda takes the bronze medal. Here's the run through of the minor places. Uh, that group were caught just on the run into the finish. And the top 20, Lydia Boylan, a great uh, attack by her. Pascal Juland, of course, uh, tried there to take the V. 